Hi, I'm Pregnant Mamas, and welcome to Soul Pump Fitness. Today, I'm going to share with you three upper body movements that you can do through any of your trimesters. I am now 36 weeks, and what you need is two weights. You can use something as light as water bottles. You can use three pounds, five pounds. I wouldn't go much heavier than that. What I have are two pound weights, and these three movements, even though it's focusing on upper body, specifically arms, it's always very important to maintain those shoulders being back, so that way your posture is being worked and your back is being activated. Go ahead, grab those two weights, and let's get started. Before we begin, we're just gonna start with an opening exercise to stretch our upper body, and then we'll get into those three movements. So standing on the floor, on your mat, wherever you are, as long as you're grounded, just take a moment and roll those shoulder blades back, allowing there to be space in your chest, and just envision movement in your shoulder joint region, sending all the energy back, relaxing, letting go, and as the shoulders come back, just let everything drop down towards the floor. If you want, you can increase the movement by placing your fingers on your shoulders and drawing back in circles with the elbows, or you can do full length arms. Regardless of this, this uh, workout today, this, these are great stretches to do throughout the day anyways. Just bringing everything back. Let's do it one more time wherever you are. And go ahead and grab those weights. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna be bringing our arms forward. So our arms are gonna be right in front of our shoulders. We don't want our arms too high because then it puts tension in our neck. We don't want them too low. We want them just directly shoulder to wrist. So from here, you'll start to notice that your shoulders are working. You may notice that you are also engaging your core region, but make sure the weights are not too heavy. We don't want it to pull too much on the belly. So they're in front of you. From here, we're gonna bring the elbows back, which is called a row. We're opening our chest, we're activating our back, and bring it back in front of you. If you feel comfortable here, you can keep the arms up the whole time. If you feel that you need a rest, rest between each rep, bring it up again, and repeat. So let's go ahead and do this together. There is no specific rep count today, just sharing, sharing with you different exercises that you could do on your own anywhere. So arms are up, allow the shoulder blades to come down, pull the arms back, and repeat. You can take those breaks in between reps. Notice that your body is not moving with the arms, you're really stable in your whole body line, just moving those arms back and forth. Let's do three more together. Feel the shoulders and core as you reach forward. Feel your back activate as you reach back. One more time. Beautiful. Okay, so from here, feet are a little bit wider than hip distance to give space for your belly. Your elbows are reaching in towards your body with your palms facing up and you're gonna extend the arms away from your body to work your bicep muscles and back in. When the arms extend away from the body, notice that it makes your side core now work. Once again, if the weights are too heavy, go lighter. We don't wanna put any strain on our belly. You just want to work your prenatal core safely and really just focusing on the arms in this exercise. So extend the arms, palms facing up. Once again, don't overreach. We don't want to go into our neck, just away from your body. You can always rest between each one and just hold it a little bit longer or extend. Let's do three more together. Extend and reach. Feel your biceps engaged as you come in and as you go out. Last one. Beautiful. And the final one is for the back of the arms, your triceps. So we just worked our biceps, now we're going to get into the triceps. The most important part of this one is setting your spine up in a way that's healthy for your posture. I'm going to show you incorrect posture, which is you bend forward and you allow everything to round. It puts pressure on your belly and it makes, it closes your chest and it could potentially put too much pressure on your lower back as well. So when you come down, create space, keep your shoulder blades together, create a nice diagonal line in your back and keep waving your hamstrings. You're gonna look straight down in between your feet. 
and I shouldn't say right in between your feet, like in between your feet and just a little bit in front so that we have a nice line in your neck. Your elbows are going to be touching the inner part of your ribs and your palms once again are facing up. Once you feel comfortable here and you acknowledge that you're working your back, we're going to send those arms back, squeezing your triceps and in. So if you're ready, go ahead and join. Begin. So extending the arms back, engaging your triceps, but also your back is working the whole time because you're not allowing anything to round. Keep your posture, keep your alignment, and just pull those hands towards the ceiling behind you, engaging your back arms. Three more. Exhale as you move your weights. One more time. And then rise up. So these are demonstrative exercises that you can do anytime, anywhere. You can add them to your workout. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more detailed and we do the whole thing together, Please check below. This is our website where we have a full prenatal workout series that you can do at home. There are 30-minute workout videos, and I do the whole thing with you, and there's 20 of them. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon. Always with love, and take care.